We're Kaylee and Lindy, and for almost a decade now, we have been on a journey to learn how to grow our own food and live simply and just try to cultivate more happiness in life. We started this whole journey on a small one acre homestead in Idaho and eventually transitioned here to the Pacific Northwest where we have a larger two acre property. And during that time, we've learned a lot and we've gotten to do some really amazing things. And one of the things we are still learning is how we balance continually working on the progress of our dreams and slowing down long enough to enjoy the life that we have created. We're going to attempt that this weekend, so wish us luck and come along and join us. You guys, it is such a beautiful weekend. Cloudy, it's overcast, it's a little bit chilly. I love it when you can sit and have a fire on an August morning. That's living. How did we get to August? I don't know. This whole summer has been so weird and so like taken from us. <laughs> it's flown by, but at the same time, it's also seemed like how are we still in summertime? <laughs> like, how is yeah. this not done? It was actually two weeks ago that we filmed for you guys. And we did a little bit too much, especially in the heat. And it, it, it did a number on you. <laughs> Kicked my butt. Yeah, so we're trying to be better about like setting our objectives and making sure that there aren't too many physical projects or like what physical projects there are that we're like properly spacing them out. But I don't, we don't know what we're doing. We're not good at this yet. So don't take advice from us. Yeah, we're still learning. Uh, and we've been learning how to deal with this. There's been a lot going on. I think we just need to relax. Yes. Kaylee, talking to you. I have been. I've been doing so good. You're just as bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine's just different. I like how yours is different, so therefore you think it's better. It is. <laughs> yours is starting new projects while I'm just trying to spin the wheels and keep up with all the maintenance while no. you're like starting 10 million new things. <sighs> you're not wrong. I know. Life changes. Like when we were in our 20s, we went so hard and heavy <laughs> renovating. Mock stupid, dude. Yeah, just like renovating our, our Idaho property and building that up. It's amazing so how quickly we transformed it. And I think when we got here, we expected to be able to just do all the same things, not realizing that we were like five years older and not as healthy. And like, well, it's, and it's a different life now. Yeah, dynamics is different. We are just trying to be more realistic with what we can do in a weekend and building in times like this where we're taking breaks to just enjoy and actually like live the life be in the areas that we've created and i think it is helping well it's not hurting <laughs> true so. very true <laughs> so we're just gonna sit by the fire for a little bit while we finish our coffee and then we'll work on some other things so this week i've been working on clearing out the garden beds and making space for all of our fall crops so since we garden year round we never do like a giant summer harvest and then the garden's done. Instead, we're constantly clearing things back, successively sowing different crops that will thrive in different seasons. And when we do that, 
we also feed the soil. So whenever I am clearing back garden beds, um, which is done a couple times a year, I feed the soil as well. So what we're gonna do today, now that I've got all of the, you know, bolted plants and the plants that were just past their prime removed from the garden beds, we're going to make a mulch and we're going to top off any empty spaces in the bed to protect that soil layer, help maintain moisture, and to continue feeding all of the soil microorganisms. So Lindy's gonna bring the tractor with the cart around and we're gonna start grabbing some compost and then moving it into the garden space. I got you. That dog is ridiculous. That dog's your dog. Oh, now we're going to mix in some wood chips. I'm just using pine shavings because we have it. Um, just add a little bit more carbon and then we're going to get it wet, mix it all up, break up any of these bigger clumps that are still here. And then it turns out looking like this, which I think is quite nice. You can't beat it when it's homegrown. You don't have to go out and buy it. Stick together high, low, every season. I really can't get over how gorgeous the garden is right now. <laughs> We used to like wait and do this in the fall. Um, when we were first starting out, we would just grow all summer crops. We would harvest everything basically within a couple weeks and then cut everything down and compost the soil and be done with the garden for the year. But now we have figured out it is much easier to have a year round garden and we're in the right climate for it. Um, although you can do it in most climates, it's just going to vary a little bit as to how you do it. But I really like this method so much better where we're constantly like growing things, feeding the soil, covering the soil. It reduces a lot of like the bulk work. So even though it seems overwhelming to do like a summer garden and a spring garden and a fall garden, I think it's actually less work in the long run. We're able to manage the workload much easier than we used to when we were trying to do the whole garden all within a very small time frame. Plus, Lindy's helping me today, which is all I hear is nonstop work. Anybody else? Anybody else? Is that what you heard? I mean, that? okay, yes, Anybody? it is nonstop work, but at the same time, like we have fresh food in like December, yeah. and that's pretty incredible. But it's kind of that like eating the elephant thing. So instead of you know trying to do it all in one big chunk, we're able to take like smaller bites out of it. We do not endorse, suggest, or encourage eating of elephants. <laughs> you got poo on your face. Mm. <laughs> all right so we're gonna get to work get this finished get but oh and who was out here all week long getting these beds completely weeded completely cleared i think it was stanley well he was here to See? be fair he did help See? look at that big old squash i have so many squash i need to come in and harvest broccoli to harvest but most exciting is the pumpkin patch Woo! so excited so many pumpkin and squash is that your squash yeah watch your, watch your face sorry uh, do you want to go kayaking later? <laughs> that could be fun. Yeah. That'd be something different. I'm down. So I picked a whole bunch of stuff from the garden to make lunch and I've got to say 
This is probably the prettiest meal that I've made so far this season. Like, it's just a salad, but look at how beautiful that is. Oh, okay. We have cheese, we have dressing. It's time. Mm. The flavor of fresh food out of this world. So I've been trying to do more like kind of batch meals like this where I'll just make something up from the garden so I have things in the fridge because I haven't been very good about feeding myself. Um, turns out I'm not good at just cooking for one. And since Lindy's on her feeding tube, she doesn't eat regular meals anymore. Like she can still pick at foods and it's called pleasure eating. Usually that's during like when we have something special because let's face it, like if you had to choose to use your energy and really concentrate on like eating and swallowing, would you choose to do kale and carrots or are you gonna go for like the pizza or sushi or something? So usually when we eat together, it's like if we're having a special meal. Are you stealing my cheese? Mm -hmm. See what I mean about like, if you're gonna eat something, it's not gonna be the kale. <laughs> I was just telling them about how I'm bad at cooking for myself. My family that I grew up in, you solve everything with food. So the fact that I can't now solve these problems with food is a little, <laughs> a little frustrating. She's handling it well. I feel like I am. I'm not being funny. She is. Oh, okay. I thought you were. <laughs> Except for, you know, you also have to feed yourself. Well, I know. I'm trying. So I've actually been kind of putting off harvesting a lot of things because I need to change the way I preserve everything now because we don't need just a ton of food the way that we used to preserve it when it's just me eating it. True. So I need to learn quickly how to make the blended food for Lindy so she's still getting that like healthy nutrient-dense food, which is why we do all this. Um, I made her two different blended meals from the garden, and it's going okay. Mm, Jesus. <laughs> There's definitely um, a learning curve to uh -huh. figuring it out. Yeah. So small victories. Yeah. But I'm going to finish my lunch, then we're going to go have some fun, I think. We're going to go kayaking. I kind of forgot when we're dog sitting this weekend. The people that we're dog sitting for have kayaks and they live right on the sound. We're gonna go kayak in the ocean. We'll catch up with you in a little bit. Cooper. So this is Cooper. Cooper, come on buddy. He's the sweetest old man. Yeah. Hi. Hi, sweet boy. Um, that's the water. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, so beautiful. That is a lot of fishes. There's always starfish on the edge of this too. Where? Well, I'm trying to show the camera. It's right there, guys. So pretty the Olympics over there. It's official, Cooper has a much better fire pit than we do. His has a way better view, check this out. It's like five times ours, but look at that view. It's just some boats, you know, it's fine. A baby seal. Yeah, a baby seal, it's fine. It's fine, Cooper. Ours is just as good as yours. So 
We're sitting here having a very nice time enjoying our wine by the ocean. And Lindy, what do you suggest that we do? You know what? We could just go home and uh, get all those cattails with that cool little tool you have because that's not a lot of work. And then she said, that's relaxing. <laughs> she literally said, we can go home and pull weeds and get down on our hands and knees and just spend the evening pulling weeds. And we were both like, okay. Like we go up. We literally we like, stood we up. We our beverages yet. There's something wrong with us. So we're going to finish our wine and then we're going to go pull some weeds. Because that's relaxing. Because it's relaxing according to Lindy. <laughs> uh, I said what I said. I heard it. I regret nothing. Finish your wine so we can go pull your weeds. Rate this cafe. Aesthetics is solid eight. Okay. Okay. Um, noise, I'm gonna have to go with like a five. There's this weird like heavy breather that's just a little uncomfortable. There is a heavy breather nearby, yeah, I feel like. It's just like it's a, it's a little, uh, it's kind of a lot. Is that you? Um, as far as what's available for food, we're, I mean, maybe like a two. Like, okay, but would you be eating it anyways? Maybe a Don't two. Don't you bring your own food? To a cafe? In a fancy little backpack? Yes, you do. Well, where is it? I don't know. You haven't gotten it ready yet. Oh. <laughs> that one's mine. Ida, where are you going? You could you could have just walked around. I don't know. I feel like it's a pretty good little spot. It's very quiet. There's not a lot of other people here, which is nice. Minus the heavy breather. It's no joke. Are you having breakfast? Yeah. So I'm having a rice cake with peanut butter. And what are you having, Lindy? Um, slurpy glurpy. This is our first attempt at feeding Lindy real food through her, her feeding tube. Explain how this has been going. Um, so it's good if for bolus feeding. Um, because there's actual, there's real food. Um, so it's just thicker and it won't go through my pump. This mix is all from the garden. It's zucchini and peas, kale and some chard, lemongrass, some mint, some basil. Oh, cauliflower. And then to add some healthy carbs, I added in some quinoa, which also helps with you know, fiber. And, and that's what the protein. machine hates. The machine's like, stupid, I hate this. Yeah, and so then we blend it, blend, 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 and I like filter it and it's still just not quite enough. But at least this way you're getting real food because it's very important that like her body doesn't forget how to process this because the problem isn't with her processing it she just can't swallow it to get it to her stomach so luckily she can still have any foods her body can process them it's just getting them in <laughs> is what we're struggling with but mm -mm. nice healthy green smoothie breakfast yeah. <laughs> Look, it's me. <sighs> Kaylee found a dude on the face of the books that delivers gravel and our driveway. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm gonna turn you around. Do you see that? Doesn't look like a driveway. It's covered in weeds. Bloop. So we're going to get the tractor out with the blade 
and see if we can get some of this cleaned up before we get it delivered and kind of have some fun. Good progress. So I was kind of figuring out the tractor, and then Wendy was just freaking over there like she read holes too many times. You're just digging Get your faster. way. <laughs> She's just over there, her pitchfork, her shovel, just. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks better. And Lindy reminded me that we're supposed to be lazy today. Yeah, we suck at that. I know. Well, this wasn't that much work. This was a little project. I mean, it was a lot of work, but it's a little project. And that's what's wrong with us. So it's some progress. It's looking better. We'll keep at it, but yeah. Or <laughs> will we? We probably will. I'm going in. You're going to fall. Dude, you're stepping into the brambles. Those are good berries, but you know we have the same ones in our pasture. Exactly the same and much more accessible. <laughs> Have we got nothing? Mmm, ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, we're going for a walk. Yeah, it is just beautiful out. We just have such a beautiful place to walk anyways. Dude, no joke. Yes, so we're gonna walk up the hill to end our night. We're in luck because the mountain is out. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna turn you around and show you guys the view. 